G'day everybody and Merry Christmas from Zion. Merry Christmas from me, Merry Christmas from Kathy, Merry Christmas to you. This is uh, Christmas Message 2022 and I just want to bring you a quick encouragement uh, and point you to Jesus, basically uh, because he's the reason for the season. I want to open by reading from Ephesians chapter 1. Let's read this together. All praise to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God chose us. He loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. Oh, well, I want to say this to you. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the family of God. It's because of Jesus that we are united with God. And so this Christmas time, as we remember Jesus, what I'm saying to you all as you watch this in this brief message, I'm saying remember Jesus because the birth of Jesus is the anticipation of what God was going to do. And that is to invite you into his embrace as his son or his daughter. So what I want to do very quickly is I want to celebrate Jesus by looking at Romans chapter 5. Just three short verses. Let's look at Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, Paul says, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Here we have at Christmas time this baby that came in a manger and yet was worshipped and celebrated as the king of all kings and lord of all lords by the angels and by the, the wise men and by the shepherds and obviously by his parents who were carrying that anticipation because of what God had told them. Here we have an opportunity to celebrate Jesus, not just as a baby, but as a king of kings, lord of lords and our saviour of all time. So maybe this Christmas, anticipate what God is doing and going to do in your life. Romans chapter 5 and verse 2 says this, Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege, this grace, this unmerited favor, where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing in God's glory. What I want to say to you at Christmas time is anticipate the new life that Jesus Christ makes available for you. The old has gone, the new will come if you will embrace faith in Jesus Christ. And so here we have this confidently and joyfully looking forward to sharing God's glory. That's God's life. That's his love. It's his, his presence in us. And we anticipate that because we know Jesus Christ is the way to God and he is the one that reconciles us to God. So let's celebrate Jesus and let's anticipate and embrace the new life that he brings to us. And finally, I want to point you to verse 11. Romans chapter 5 verse 11 says, So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends with God. And that's why I say welcome to the family of God. Jesus invites us in where we can be sons and daughters, as this uh, says here, friends of God. And so what I would say to you is that faith brings the joy that you're looking for. Just that anticipation that Jesus has done a work, that he's invited you and he's made you in right standing before the Father. And that in that place of faith, you can rejoice and experience the joy and the life, that burning sensation that God is for you. Why? Because at Christmas time we celebrate the baby who came to be our saviour. And as I close, I just want to give you a blessing. And I want to go back to Ephesians 1 to do that because the blessing is this. God's family means God's blessings. So when you're part of a family, you get the blessing of the father of the family. We're part of God's family, so we get the blessing of God as our father. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 says this. I, I ask you today to receive this as a blessing from God, for it is the word of God. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. Furthermore, in addition to all the good news I've given you today, because we're united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan. May that give you a sense of peace. May you walk in faith, 
in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, and may you have confident assurance and hope that the God, who is the God of heaven and earth, is for you, that he has prepared his good work for you to walk into. So as you celebrate Christmas with uh, your loved ones, your friends, your neighbours, your family, wherever you are watching this, we pray, here at Zion, we pray that you would know the presence of the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ around the table, around your family times, and around your holiday season. May God richly bless you. We look forward to walking with you in our pilgrimage journey in 2023. God bless you.